Now that we've processed and interpreted the data, let's drill our well. In the beginning, energy companies only drilled for oil and gas on land. But after decades of technological advances, we could finally explore for hydrocarbons far from land. In fact, we're exploring for hydrocarbons hundreds of miles offshore. Now that we've used seismic data to look deep inside the Earth's layers, we have an idea of where the hydrocarbons are. But how do we get to them some 30,000 feet below the ocean floor? Well, from a drilling rig, we must drill a hole deep into the earth and hit a very small target. Imagine using a bow and arrow to hit a six inch target from 10 miles away. As impossible as this may sound, this is exactly the same sort of technological challenge oil and gas companies face drilling a well offshore. One of the most prolific regions for offshore oil and gas exploration and production is an area in the very deep waters of the remote central Gulf of Mexico. It's approximately 200 miles offshore, southeast of Galveston, Texas. That's equivalent of the distance from Houston to Dallas. Originally, drilling rigs were wooden and the tools used were very simple. Not anymore. For drilling offshore today, the oil and gas industry uses a variety of highly complex and technologically advanced drilling rigs. There are jackups, floaters, semi-submersibles, tension legs, spars, and drill ships to match the challenge. For our project, we will require a drill ship since the water depth is over a mile deep and the total depth of the well is another 30,000 feet below the seafloor. That's nearly 30 Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. Using global satellite positioning, our drill ship finds the exact location where drilling will commence. It's like digging a hole in your backyard and not your neighbors. Once positioned, it has to be connected to the seafloor. Deep water wells can take months to drill and cost hundreds of millions of dollars. So before we begin drilling, we need a good roadmap to find our way to the target, along with the right mix of equipment, software, and expertise ready to go. The right software allows the well to be designed safely and efficiently. Software makes it possible to simulate drilling conditions and plan for those what ifs. It's the same as a sports team creating a winning game plan before the play. You can't be successful without a good game plan. If you can ride a bike or steer a car to avoid hitting an object, you already have some of the skills needed to drill a well. But it's a lot more complex than that, as a driller must carefully geosteer the well to avoid any hazards, such as a high-pressure rock layer or even another well. We must also reach our target as soon as possible because every day spent drilling a well can cost millions of dollars, even if we don't find anything.